Skitcha Chef. So this was supposed to be a Facebook Live um, earlier this afternoon, but technical issues went kaplooey, okay? Um, I had my computers going, pots going. Um, so, you know, I still wanted to get this great recipe out to, to you. So I hope you'll bear with me. Okay, so now we're gonna um, start get the sauce going. So here I'm just gonna put in just a little bit of oil. Okay, and we're gonna let that heat up for a minute. By the way, have you noticed my red apron? Remember I told you that today is Chinese New Year, so you definitely wanna be wearing red. So it was crazy getting everything set up and then my technical issues. So I didn't have a chance to have a nice iron shirt red, so I just threw on a red apron. But at least hopefully this red will bring me good luck for the coming new year, according to Chinese uh, tradition. I'm just putting my hand here to see how hot it is. I'm not touching it, obviously, just to see if the oil's hot enough. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just drop a little to see if it sizzles. It's sizzling. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of my onion. And then I'm gonna put in some garlic. So here are some garlic. And we're just gonna go ahead and saute that till they're nice and softened. I'm gonna lift it up a little just so you can kind of see the inside of the pan there. So you see I'm just, just enough oil to coat the bottom and I'm just cooking it so it, get, it gets nice and softened. My next video is going to have to be a lot better. I'm going to have to have a great setup. I will. I'm learning. So I hope you'll come with me on this journey because no matter what kind of technical issues I'm having, guess what? You're still going to get a fabulous, delicious recipe at the end of the video, and you're going to learn a little bit about a new cuisine. You know, here at the Schizo Chef, we experiment with the cuisine of every nation on earth. And, you know, I try to hopefully break down some biases, expose you to other cultures and through food and through travel. So our onions and our garlic are nice and softened here. So now here I have a can of 20, uh, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those crushed tomatoes in. Ooh, it's splashing. Be careful, it's gonna splash on you as it's doing to me, but that's okay. I'm gonna lower down the heat just a tad here. So there's my tomatoes, and I'm gonna add in all my spices now. So here I've got a little bit of vinegar. I use red wine vinegar. If you don't wanna use anything with wine for alcoholic reasons, even though it does cook off, I know some people are quite sensitive to that. So then you could just use plain old white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, that's fine too. Now here is the specialness that makes this Egyptian and make this so special, and it's called baharat. Now baharat is a spice blend that's used throughout the Middle East and North Africa. And every country will have a little bit of a different uh, combination of spices that make up baharat. Um, if you can't find baharat in your local area, please, 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 Drop me a message, drop me a comment. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely comment down there. I wanna know, because I'm going to be putting together some amazing spice kits uh, for, for you guys, and I wanna know what, I don't wanna just put in normal stuff like, you can get parsley or cumin anywhere, but I'm really looking to provide you with that stuff that you can't get in your local area. I want you to be able to cook every single recipe you see on my blog. Um, but just so you know, um, if you can't find baharat and you don't want to wait wait until my spice kit is available, a good substitute will be ras al hanu. Ras al hanu is more commonly available and you can get it a lot of places. And in fact, even if you can't get it, I have a recipe for a homemade version of ras al hanu on my blog and in the description below, I'm going to include the link. So you can go ahead and just make the fresh spice and Anyway, whenever anything's made fresh, it's better. So in addition to the baharat, I'm putting a little bit, about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. So that's gonna give it a little spice, a little kick, which is nice. 
Okay, so we have that all kicked up. And then just a little bit of salt to taste. So here's some salt. Okay, a little bit of salt to taste. And now we're gonna go ahead and simmer that for about 15, 20 minutes until it's nice and thickened. So it's gonna be nice and thick and we're gonna go ahead, and then now you have all your prep done. You have your caramelized onions, you've got your spiced up tomato sauce, you've got all your grains and lentils cooked, and now we're gonna put everything together. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleared the table a little bit so we can go ahead and put together our koshari. So what's going in? We have here our lentils. So these are our cooked brown lentils. We've got our cooked pasta, and like I said, if you wanna make it um, healthier, you could definitely um, do that. Mine is sticking a little because I didn't really run it with cold water after cooking like you're supposed to, so I'm just here breaking up my pasta a little bit. Um, with all my technical problems, this was a crazy day. But I hope I've encouraged you. If you're a content creator and you wanna create video, just go with the flow. Otherwise, you're never going to get started if you wait till everything's perfect. You know, part of what I do on my blog, yes, I share food recipes, I share travel, but I've also started giving people blogging tips. I want everyone to be the best uh, content creator they can, and I hope through my mistakes and fouls, um, you learn from them, and you learn just go with it. So I just added the rice. And then finally, I'm adding my can of chickpeas. And like I said, you could also make it fresh. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix that all together, all your lentils and your grains. So I'm here mixing it all together. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I celebrated Black History Month this week by doing Yesterday I did a recipe from uh, Senegal and today we're in the land of the pharaohs. So, okay, so I've got everything all mixed together right there. There you go, you see everything's all mixed together. I'm gonna grab a spoon here. I just wanna check and make sure it's really well seasoned and it has enough salt. I put salt in the water when I was boiling the pasta, I put salt when I was cooking the rice. Um, I didn't put any salt in the lentils. The chickpeas, since they're canned, they already have salt added. So let's see if it has enough salt altogether. Yeah, it's perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and plate our kashari. So right here, I have spoonfuls of my grain mixture. So this is the lentils, the pasta, and the um, lentils, pasta, and the rice. Now here is the sauce after it's uh, simmered for about 20 minutes or so. So now it's a nice, really thick sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and ladle a little of that on top of our cooked grains. And then for the piece de resistance, as they would say, we're gonna add a little bit of our sweet, caramelized onions. So those sweet, juicy, lovely caramelized onions are gonna go on the top. And there we have our koshari. So there you have your grain mixture, and then you've got that lovely tomato sauce, and then finally, you've got your caramelized onions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, despite all the problems, uh, let me just show you. Let me give you a forkful. You want to when you eat it, you want to get a little bit of everything. So you want to reach down into it, get a little. Like, actually, you know, I think it's much better with a spoon. With a spoon, it's easier to get every, everything. So you want a little bit of the pasta, all the protein. You want some lentils, some chickpeas, some tomatoes, and a little bit of caramelized onions all on the same spoon. And there you go. Now, that is a mouthful that's just delicious. It has a little bit of everything, and that's your kashari. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I promise you, next one will be better. Keep on tuning in to the Schizo Chef, where we taste the world. Thank you. Bye.